All right, so this is going to be a short tutorial on creating layered texture um, with multiple UV sets on um, polygon geometry um, for use in like a game engine like Unity or the Unreal Engine or any other uh, game engine they use today in uh, current games. So basically what I did here is um, I created a polygon plane. Uh, you want to make sure that you have the six key hit on your keyboard so you can see it in uh, texture mode. There's no texture on there right now. So um, you're not going to see it anyway. The first thing we want to do is we want to make sure we go Window, Rendering Editors, Hypershade. And if you're using 3D Studio Max, this is the same thing as the uh, uh, Material Editor. And basically inside of this, when you open it up, uh, by default you should see the Create Maya nodes right here. You want to scroll down to get to other textures right here and there's a layered texture and you click on that it'll create your layered texture over here. Um, you want to scroll back up and um, we're just going to create a Lambert and click that, kind of pull it over to it. Now, the Lambert's actually going to be the material that we apply on the the polygon geometry. So basically right now what we want to do is we want to set up the layered textures and so we're going to double click on that to bring up its attributes and um, you'll see that it's green and there's this little red box here. And inside of that is where all the, uh, the file textures are mapped in um, that we're going to layer together. So we want to make sure we click on that. You're going to see the color channel underneath of it. This is where we're going to map in the file textures. There's a little checkered box here to the right. Um, we click on that. You want to put in a 2D texture as normal. And you, it's going to be a file texture. So we get a little uh, image name box here where it's waiting for an image with a little folder to the right of it. We're going to click on that folder. And I'm just going to navigate to my desktop where I already uh, saved out a little folder here with my two textures. Um, one of them is a dirt and one of them is a grass. Um, I'm going to just map in the dirt texture for right now. And in the hypershade, we see it in there. Um, it came in as file one, and this is going to be a problem for linking it up later. You're not going to be able to identify what file one is. We want to make sure we know this is dirt. So in the little file name box up here, we're just going to call it dirt. Real simple. And then we're going to go back here in our hypershade, hypershade and click back on the layered texture. And we're actually going to name it too because it just called it layered texture one and that's not going to work. So we'll just call it um, terrain textures. Okay, so we have our dirt file texture in the layered texture there. So now we just want to click in the empty space to the right of it. And we're going to go down here to the color channel again in this little checker box and map in our... Uh, we're going to map in our grass. And something, something lagged up here. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm going to go in here, map in the file texture. I'm going to map in the grass. So now, if I can arrange all these nice and neatly in here. Um, it gets a little messy. You'll see we have our dirt and our grass both plugged in to the terrain texture layer texture. We're going to go back to the grass. Um, it, called, it brought it in as file one too, so I'm just going to name it grass. Um, and we have our layer texture now. It's all set up. And now basically it needs to be uh, plugged into the input on a, the material that we're actually going to apply to the geometry. So what you want to do is you want to select your, your layer texture, hold down middle mouse button, drag it over to the Lambert material, let go, and the option down below, color, is the one we want to map into. So just click on that. And our Lambert 2 is now has the uh, layered texture with the two file textures for the grass and the dirt mapped into it. So we're just going to, instead of Lambert 2, we're just going to call it uh, Layered Ground. Whatever helps you come back to reference it. So basically we're completely done with the material setup aspect of this. Uh, you have to wait here. It's lagging a little bit. And I'm going to go back and now we need to look at the geometry. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down right mouse button on it. I'm going to scroll down to assign existing material. And we're basically going to assign layered ground. And you should see it pop in. And there you go. We see our um, dirt. So now what we need to do is set up the multiple UV sets on it. We're going to use two to do the blending. So I'm going to hold down right mouse button. Scroll down to UV sets. And I'm going to see I have Maya's default map one. We need to create two UV sets. One for the grass, one for the dirt. So I'm going to go into the UV set editor that I have highlighted here. In the UV set editor, I'm going to click on map one. I'm going to click rename, and we'll call it dirt. 
so we know those are dirt UVs. We're going to create, click new, create a default UV set here and rename on it as well. We're going to call it grass. We have our two empty UV sets, so we're going to close it. Now when I hold down right mouse button over the geometry and go into the UV sets, I have a dirt that can be checkboxed and a grass. These are empty UV sets. They have actually no um, UVs on them. When we look in here and I select this geometry, there's no UVs in the UV texture editor. So basically what we need to do is create our projections. I'm going to minimize this. And so we'll scroll down and we'll make sure dirt is checked, create UVs, and we'll go over to the options box and make sure create new, v, new UV set is not checked. So I'll hit apply. We just created UVs on that. I'm going to hold down right mouse button, go back to the UV sets, and go to grass. We're going to do the same thing in that planar projection. So now we should have two UV sets that both have projections in them, which both produced UVs. Now you'll see UVs in the UV texture editor for both the grass and the dirt. You're seeing an odd display in here in the UV texture editor. That's just because the UVs aren't linked up. So now we have to do the final part of this, which is hold down right mouse button, UV set, UV linking. On the left, you'll see why we named our UV sets here. These are the, this is the geometry right here, and these are the UV sets and why we named them dirt and grass. Now we know this is our dirt UVs. These are our grass UVs. Over here are the file textures, dirt and grass. Now it makes sense why we um, didn't leave the default file one naming in there and we actually named them because now I can click the grass UVs and the grass file texture, the dirt and the dirt. And when you look in the UV texture editor, they both update. They are both linked together. A UV set for the dirt, a UV set for the grass linked to the file texture. So now we can, um, I'm actually going to go back into the UV texture editor. And these are the grass UVs. So we're not going to see any scaling. This is a unique thing. You'll see it in the UV texture editor, but not in the viewport. And then I'm going to go to the UV set for the dirt. And we'll tile that up as well, just to do a little tiling. You don't have to tile your UVs. And then now I'm going to go color, apply color options. It pops up. I'm going to leave it at reset it at default, and I'm just going to make it white and hit apply. And we just vert colored that white. OK. So now we go color, paint vertex color tool, options. Um, by default, it's probably going to come in as replace, vertex, RGB, it's the color value will be black. The alpha will be at 1. Now the odd thing about when you're painting alpha in here, a value of 1 is no alpha. 0 is full al transparency, full alpha. So basically we want to change a few things. Replace is good. We do want to paint on the vertices. We want to paint on the RGB and alpha channel. The extra A is that alpha information we're going to paint. We want to make the color value white. And we're going to paint in full transparency now, so we'll set color alpha to zero. And then I'm just going to start painting. And you can see what is happening. That's pretty cool. We now have layered terrain. Um, I'm going to go show, selection highlighting, and uncheck it in the viewport so we don't have to see and basically it's very intuitive. I can just artistically don't have to worry about the technical aspects at this point. I can just paint away. Um, if I go back to one, I'm going to start removing that. You can also paint somewhere in the middle, like at a value of 0.5 and get kind of a really cool, like sort of blended uh, grass and dirt, you know, it's blending back and forth. Um, can go back to full. It looks a little blocky here because it's painting on the vertices. So if we don't have enough verts, in our geometry, it's going to look a little blocky. So I use the smooth function here, and that really helps a lot to uh, smooth it out. I'm going to turn selection highlighting off again. And you'll see that it really smooths out that blockiness, so don't be afraid to use the smooth function on that too. And then go back in and push the intensity back in in some spots. You know, um, Basically, that's the end of this tutorial, and I hope it helps you make uh, layered terrain textures for your game engine.